check this out. You see I've been blowing from all up around the buildings, up around the house. You see they're piled up right there, but I'm going to take all these because they got hoses and cords for the electric fence and stuff all right here. And there's not barely much room, so it's hard to mulch right here. So we're going to take this. As you can see, it's two or three feet deep. See, watch, I'll watch. <laughs> oh, man. Some of them are wet, too. And we're going to try to push these. I've already pushed all those ones out over there. And I've pushed those from down the lake up here. You see uh, this yard, too. I've pushed all these over here. So we're going to try to take these and push them all down here past these trees so I can mulch them up. There is still a drainage pipe and a little stump over here I gotta watch, but, and I gotta get it kind of from around these, but, and, and it will, you see I have blown them from, the, cause I do this yard too. And I have blown from that side, blown them in here. Um, but a couple are gonna fall on that side of the fence again. This electric fence, I've been shocked by it several times. <laughs> uh, you see here's a, a hose down through there for watering those plants like a drip line thing. Alright boys, we got down here. That 8010 does not back down. Instead of like pulling up and backing up like this, trying to mulch it. It's gonna be hard and there's a stump in here somewhere, somewhere. I uh, guess I'll find it the hard way. <laughs> Guys, you see this mask? Uh they're pretty cool. It's a. Uh, it's called sorry the mower's running, but it's called a ZG mask. And I got mine on eBay for like seven or eight bucks. I think it's like a knockoff of the RZ mask. Um, the RZ masks are just way too expensive for what they are in my opinion. So I bought one of these. Southern Style Lawn Care told me about it years ago, I think. But uh, I've had it for a while. It's been great. And also I'm going to bring this, uh, bring my little Milwaukee blower down there. I love this little Milwaukee blower. I'm going to bring it down there so like when I'm mulching I can help push some of those leaves away from the trees and stuff you know what I mean and uh like mulch a little bit and blow some around the trees with this you know just so I can get to it all right boys kind of hard to tell but these piles you know it's kind of hard to tell when I was talking about there how deep it was and talking about the stump and stuff but these piles are as big as tall as this the seat on my mower like when I'm driving up trying to plow through them like they're coming up as high as the seat on my zero turn so pretty good piles you see and it's really hard because you can't really get to them uh, get them under the mower so you have to do just little little bits you know and then just back up forward back up forward back up you can see all that dust coming away from there and um yeah it makes a dust storm for sure and you can see the wind's kind of blowing a little bit seems like <laughs> during the summer it's so hot and still and then Man, when we try to do these leaf cleanups, the wind tries to blow all the time, so I don't know what that's about. Y'all let me know. Comment below why that happens. <laughs> I guess maybe the wind blows in the summer too, but maybe it, if we do feel a breeze in the summer, it's like it's kind of nice, but I don't know. It just seems that way. It seems like it doesn't blow that much during the summer, and it's hot and sticky and still, and then during the winter trying to control the leaves and it makes it hard the whole time so yeah well, let me know your thoughts on that and oh yeah we're gonna get back to it Enough two or three times I did find this stump the hard way there's another small one over there right there that I found the hard way too as well but it's crazy man it worked great 
it's not 100% perfect. We'll be back in two weeks to work on it. I got to mulch a little more over there on that side of the property. And then I'm going to get out of here. But anyway, yeah, Snapper Pro, man, that thing does great. Did a uh, mulch down some stuff. And uh, all those leaves are. All right, boys, it's in the morning. I got to head out. Got to. Uh, check the oil my mower and load that up when we get out of here, but or every night and for the last two weekends I've been just man been working away like after work late at night doing you know a couple hours here and there Each night's when I get done and then for two weekends. I took the whole weekends working on this for my wife So check it out Isn't that cool or what? So, did it all myself. Took a while. Um, my dad did help me over there. We took the ground down about a foot and moved the dirt over here. Cause that way we did not have to make like a step down fence. We just made it, you know, I made it straight and then we moved some of the dirt over here. Um, Cause it, my wife, and me too like I don't really like the step down look and the ground does it did kind of slope down right here in the back of our house we made it for you know dogs and kids and stuff but man so much work you know it probably took me like 60 hours or something to do this you know because it's all made with pressure treated two by fours and uh you know like I ripped those down with my skill saw and frame around it and uh you know oh and my dad let me use he has one of those uh it's it's an auger like it looks like a big drill bit like with a weed eater engine on the top and that did help me with some of the holes still hit some roots and stuff i had to chop but it helped me a lot and uh yeah man my body's tired my head hurts because i've just been putting so many hours on this but we got it done i'm glad to have it 100 percent finished Here's some scraps. I already took one load to the dump, but I got some more. I gotta take these. See, this is how the metal comes at first. 16 foot section. That one actually need, I need to bring that one back. But, man, looks pretty good. And, uh, just took me a long time, but we got it eventually. Yeah. So what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments what you think about this project here. Did I do a good job or what? What do you think? See how we the the ground took it down here. Push your dirt that way. Before I had put this part up. So yeah. Yeah boys did it all with my little just my little plastic table, my skill saw, snapped a line and ripped these boards, and uh, it worked out. So let me know what you guys think about it. Wow, glad that it is done. I'm behind on my, um, it was super windy yesterday, and I was like, well, I gotta finish this fence anyway, so I'm behind one day in my lawn care. So, all right, let's get out of here.